Nashville, here we come. when I see that. Haynes Brands. Oh, they got a Payless shoe store. And there's a gym. This mall even has a gym. Cool. Carters, babies, and kids. Cute kids. Oh, and they have a Build-A-Bear workshop. We are at the Aquarium Restaurant, and this is awesome. Check this out. Disney store, and I found Olaf. Yeah, there he is. <laughs> Yucky. <laughs> All kinds of sizes here. And there's Minnie. Oh, by the way, Minnie. I love Disney. <laughs> Guess where we're at? <clears throat> you got the hint? <gasps> Lego! <laughs> they have so many cool toys in here. I am such a kid at heart. Build your own. That would be cool. <laughs> I'll get them on video yet. 
that looks neat. You can get this for only $160. The Simpsons Quickie Mark. That is so cool. Oh my goodness. And it, you can open it from inside. Oh. Uh, did you see the digital thing they have? You can make your own thing here. Let me see. That is so cute. Make a Lego set come to life. I don't know. Make a Lego set. Well, I think that's where you just, they show you that. You, you try me. Oh, I guess. I don't know. That's really weird. But what is the make a Lego set come to life? You just get a Lego set here, hold it up right here in front of the camera. Uh huh. And if you like. Yeah. Hold it there for a second and it will pop up the. You can turn the set sideways. Oh and my you just goodness. Just kind of watch it do its thing. Oh, that is so cool. It'll take off here in just a second. There you go. <laughs> and it, you know, it works with uh, most of the sets, but I believe oh. it's, got a, it's kind of trial and error because some of them don't. Yeah. But we got a lot to do, particularly the Star Wars and the city sets. Anything, uh, uh, anything above a certain price limit also works. Yeah. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Now we're off to the Gale Awards on Hotel. Just uh, walk around and check out the sights. in a pretty amazing and unique thing. Now, what we did was send out about 3,000 two-ounce Jack Daniels bottles. Now, they were empty, of course. I might have had a, had a few of those, but we won't talk about that right now. Now, what we did was went ahead and filled them up, or uh, sent them around the world, had people fill them up from their local water sources, whether it be river streams, creeks, lakes, oceans, and sent it all back into us. Now, out of those 3,000, we got about 1,700 back, and that includes all 50 states and over 30 different countries. Now, the first and the furthest that we received back from that 1700 was from the River Jordan in Israel. So that does put us on international waters, but I please ask no pirate business. We're going to keep it nice and clean on our Sunday tour. Now, as we come around this corner, we're going to be entering our convention portion of the Delta A Trail. Now, up to the right of the boat, where those white columns are, is the foyer of our largest ballroom. That is the Delta Ballroom, sitting at 60,000 square feet up there. Now that's enough room to fit about 4,000 people, banquet style, that's a whole bunch of chewing going on up there, as well as about 7,000 sitting theater seating style. Now off to the left is the boat at the very end of the hotel, way on back there enough, you're going to see that huge chandelier back there, that is the largest one here at Opryland Resort, weighing in at a whopping 3,000 pounds and having 158 lights on it. Now it also has a pretty amazing winch system in the ceiling that allows us to bring it on down to ground level. Then we'll get about four or five guys a gallon from our housekeeping crew to come down here and give it a good cleaning. Five hours it takes them to clean that thing from top to bottom. Now once I've seen and heard how long it took them to clean that chandelier, it made Dustin at home not that much of a chore anymore. <laughs> Now, also on that same pole, if you look up on the white support beam just a little bit where I'm pointing, you're going to see that red line back here. Now, this red line is the flood level line that we had here in 2010. As you guys might have heard, that still got hit by a pretty bad flood in May of that year. But, of course, we bounced on back like we always do here in Opryland and Nashville. 
I like to call it a blessing in disguise because it was a good way for us to do a lot of remodeling and renovation to the resort that we just normally couldn't do while we had guests here staying with us. We are having such a good time. It is nice and relaxing. It's not rush, rush, rush. We've been taking our time. I'm too old to do that run, run, run thing. <laughs> not me. But uh, we had a nice time at Opry Mills and the Gaylord Hotel. They're right next to each other. So it was nice to be out of this heat. It's like 90 degrees today, if not more than that. And now we are halfway to Gatlinburg. We're in Crossville, Crossville, Tennessee. It's about two hours from Gatlinburg. So it's kind of like the halfway mark. And now we're in a uh, Hampton Inn, relaxing and resting and getting ready to go get dinner. And I gotta tell you, this is such a nice room. Hampton never disappoints. It's always good. Well, that's the end of the video. And if you like this video, Give it a good old thumbs up, and if you want to see more videos, hit that subscribe button. Thank you. Have a good day.